Good evening, good evening, everybody. I'm going to do a short training before we go into the um, flash sale or our pick a pumpkin event. We can't say flash sale. That's not compliant, y'all. Y'all know that. So before we get into our pick a pumpkin event tonight, and my friend Lisa Gardner, um, who's on Jennifer McKinney's team, she did a training a few days ago, and it was it was fantastic. It really it it really made me think about some things. And um, Jennifer is doing some leadership training with her with her team, and I am just soaking it in. I'm like a sponge. I'm listening to everything, and I want you know everything that um, you know. You want to you want to listen to, and you want to emulate and and follow the people who are in the you know, at, at the ranks that you want to be, right? So, um, so Jennifer's a silver ambassador. So I listen to all of her stuff because that's where I want our team to be, you know, at some point, which I know we're going to because we've got the greatest team ever. But um, she, gave, she gave three tips to grow your business. And, um, you know, we hear, we, we've heard at Zine Fest, we heard like the greatest leaders in the team, they were, you know, talking about all these things and, and you hear the same things over and over again. And the reason that is, is because that's what works. You know, if, if you're, if you're hearing the same things over and over again, maybe we should do them and see if that's what works to grow our businesses. But one of the things that she had said, it made me so excited because it was one of the things that I, that we focused on and, and we talked about um, when we were in Gatlinburg. And that was the first thing to grow your business. You've got to give yourself daily affirmations. And I think that that is so important because we know our, our biggest obstacle is in the mirror. Our we, our self-doubt and our fear of, of failure or fear of whatever it is, we are our biggest obstacle from achieving what it is that we want to achieve. So daily affirmations, make your declarations, write them down, say them out loud, put them where you can see them over and over again. Put your rank there and say, I will be this rank. If you, I mean, if you've got a goal of, which everybody on here should have a goal of executive and above, you know, say that to yourself. I know Rhonda has got it as a screensaver on her phone. She can, she, every time she looks at her phone on her screensaver, it says, I am executive. I mean, because she knows that's what she's going to be. Whatever you feed yourself and you believe, then that's what you can, that's what you can achieve. If you don't believe it, you cannot get there because your own self-doubt will stand in your way and prevent you from getting there. So put, um, what you want to be better at, write it down. I am a good speaker. I am a good leader. I can do live. I can do Facebook live. I can train my team. Whatever it is that you want to get better at, write those affirmations down that you can do them. Um, say, and again, who, who do you want to be? Who, what, what kind of leader do you want to be? I am a strong leader. I am a courageous person. I am someone my team can look up to. Whatever it is that you want to be and that you want to feed into yourself, write it down, say it to yourself, send it to your upline daily, send it to them. That way you know you've written it down. That holds you accountable. That is number one. You have got to believe that that you can get to that rank. And then what I'm gonna ask you, and this was, this was part of an, a training, it's not even the same training, but um, it was something that Jennifer said, is, is what's holding us back from our next rank? Is it, is it that we're not doing what we used to do? Are you as excited about this business as you once were? Is it, a, is it a, are you doing the work that you once did? Are you, are, are you putting in the time that you did, that you used to put in? When you were at the top of your game, and y'all all know when, when you were, are you putting in the time? Are you putting in the work? Are you putting in the effort? Do you have that excitement? 
Maybe sometimes we need to do over with our business and we need to get back to somewhere and find that fire. Remember our why. Remember why we started. Remember how that felt when you were at the top of your game. And maybe that will help you ignite that again and, and get that wheel going again. Um, number two. The second thing that you have to do to grow your business is you have to get quick start bonuses. So developing those relationships with your new customers, the people that you think can do it. There's 12 words that she said that you need to tell them. And it needs to say, you need to tell those, you need to ask those people or say to those people, I'm sure you know four people who would want to do this with you. And you say it to every person you sign up whether they want the business or not. Maybe this is not, maybe the person is not the kind of person that posts on Facebook or is, you know, they don't want to, they don't want to do it right now because they don't know what their results are. How many times have we heard that? I want my own results first, but say that to them. Kylie, she gave an example of Kylie Sanders, who is a dear friend of mine. Um, she's a gold executive with the, with the company. She did not want the business, but she knew four friends that would do it with her. And that's how she got started. She got her, the four friends that would not want to hear about you losing weight on Facebook. Those are the four friends they need to, that they need to call and get them to do it with, it, with them. It's a 45 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. They are not taking any risk. So ask your customers that question. Don't let fear stop you from doing that. Be bold and don't prejudge. You let them decide. You ask everybody the question or you give everybody that statement and then let them decide. So that, that statement is, I'm sure you know four people who would do this with you. And then let them tell you that. The last thing that she said was um, something that we had touched on also was um, do inspire video chats with your new customers with an upline or a sister line that has a similar story so they can create that vision, so they can create that belief. Um, and she challenged her team and I'm going to challenge you guys to do at least one before the end of the month. And you can do it on Messenger, you can do it on Facebook Live, however you wanna do it. Messenger I think works best to do a video chat with somebody. So you get them, find out a time, find your person, we all, you know, if you don't know about somebody, if you've got somebody that's maybe a nurse, ask on the leaders page, is there a nurse available? A teacher, is there a teacher available? A banker, is there a banker available? There, I promise you, there is somebody on that leaders page that has a situation that can, that can attest or talk to whatever kind of customer that you have. We have got an amazing group of people. It's a very diverse team. And we are, we, we have all, all walks of life um, from young to old, from, and I'm not calling anybody old, me, I'm the old lady. So, um, but it, all walks of life. We've got, we've, Luann just retired from her job. You know, um, Rhonda was a teacher. Kim, I'm looking at the people I know. Kim was a nurse. Bria delivers babies. And I mean, I was in banking. I was in finance. So um, Mary Kate, she's she's a millennial. She's in her 20s. You know, we've got, Lu, like I said, Luann, who's retired. So we've got like all ages of the spectrum and we've got all demographics. We've got all career paths. So we can find someone to connect with the person that you have signed up to create that belief and show them what it can be, what their plan plan B can turn into, you know, just tell them. It starts with you being bold and saying, I got something for you. I'm just going to put you on the call. I've got to put you on the call and let you just, just listen to my friend. You know, she wants to meet you. Don't say, I'm going to set you up on a three-way chat, messenger chat with someone so they can, don't do that. Talk to them like they're your friend. You know, I got somebody who wants to meet you. She, I've been telling her about you. She wants to meet you. When, when is a good time for you? Is 12 better or is seven? Give them your options because they're much more likely to give you an, an answer as to which option is better than to say yes or no. So, um, so that right there, I will tell you that um, Lori Ulrich is a, um, she's a gold executive with the company as well. And she is a dear, dear friend of mine. And she calls me, her and I are accountability partners and she'll call me. And every single time I am on the phone with her, she'll say, 
I just got to get on. I, I'm just going to get one person on the call with you. Every single time, never fails. Just do it. Just do this. Just talk to her for five minutes, share your story. She doesn't give me an option. And she'll get them on the phone and she'll say, hey, girl, she goes, you know, I put you on the phone with somebody different all the time. This is, and then she'll edify me. She she talk, she introduces me to, to her downline and she'll tell me what rank. She'll give me all the information right there. She didn't tell that girl she's calling. She didn't ask for a time. She just has me on the phone and she gets them on the phone. And if that girl doesn't answer, she says, just wait, I'll find somebody. She will find somebody to get me on the phone with. Never fails every single time I talk to her. So you know what? Whatever works. Track it. Track how long. Pick one person and track how many people you have to get them on the phone with until they have that vision belief, until they have that, that belief, that vision that they can do something and that they start. And just pick anybody out of the blue, because I can tell you that's how Nikki Rimple started. And I can tell you that that's how um, Freddie Elias does that to every single person he gets on the, that he that he signs up. So it works. These people are, are in places that we want to be. So if they're doing something and it's working, let's follow behind them and let's do the things that's working. So daily affirmations pour into yourself. Quick start bonuses, don't prejudge, ask them who their four people are. And then do those inspire calls and create that vision and cast that belief into somebody that you've signed up this month before the end of the month. And I want you to go on the leaders page and post who you did the shout it out when you do an inspire call with somebody, shout out who did that call with you. So I love all of you and I cannot wait until Thursday. Oh my gosh, who is getting excited about that? Because I'm going to tell you, I am excited. I, there's, we, we've got the VIP page pumping. Y'all, they are back crazy. They are batting everything. I'm here and bat, 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 bat. I'm just, I'm, I wouldn't have said boo today if it had killed me. I wanted to, but it's just, it's so much fun watching them say bat. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? So I, I made this post and they got to say bat before I say boo. And the last one to say bat wins. And I'm going to actually give them the $20 product credit. But it's just, it's so much fun. And then all those little just Facebook games, that generates that excitement. Where I'm, and what I'm doing is I'm seeing how many people are seeing our post and how many people are interacting. And there's quite a bunch. So we're gonna keep doing about two of those a day until Thursday and get it pumped up. I want you guys to start going in and putting in your testimonies in that page. Start, you can do, uh, if you do it live, make sure it's under two minutes, do your two minute elevator story. But I want you guys to start participating and start posting and get people excited. And um, because it's going to take all of us creating that environment for it to be what it is. So who has not been a part of one of our flash events? Raise your hand, or I think you can raise your virtual hand if you go up in your corner and click on that, the three little things, or who has not been a part of our, our flash events? I know that, uh, I don't think Nita has, I think, and Joanne, have you? She has, okay. Well, let me just run through the rules and tell you guys how they work really quick. Um, just as a reminder, and just so you guys can share it with your downlines. Um, you do not want to add anyone into this event that does not have the prices already, that you have not talked to, and that you have not made your system recommendation to them, because we are not going to have time to go over systems with everybody. I will, the way we're going to do it, it's going to be a live event. I'm going to have whoever's in the neighborhood, whoever's around, come to the house. We're going to get dressed up for uh, the spectacular pick a pumpkin. We're going to have like our little uh, from here up, we're going to be decorated. From here down, we ain't. So <laughs> we're going to get all dressed up, and we are going to um, we are going to do the event live. Which means we're going to have the countdown clock. We're going to be talking to them through the five minutes that they can comment sold, and um, we're going to stay live the entire half hour, however long it's going to be. We're going to do um, we're going to do the ultimate. We're going to do the Ignite plus Trim Sticks, the Ignite, the Core plus Trim Sticks, the Core, and we're going to do the Trim Down Trio. And um, that's gonna be the systems that they can choose. The amounts of the systems is going to be 
discounted by half your commission. So whatever that is, whatever your commission would be, then it's going to be half that um, is going to be the rebate that you are responsible for giving your customer. You are responsible for the difference between the wholesale price and the uh, spectacular price. So I can't say flash sale price, the spectacular price. So that would be something that you would PayPal on um, in two business days when you get your commission. You don't have to come out of pocket or any, for anything. So you're gonna take it when you get your commission and PayPal Venmo however they want it. So you're responsible for that. The, there is a $20, um, $20 um, buy-in on this. What we are going to do with that $20 is we are going to have the pick a pumpkin deal. And we're gonna have five pumpkins and the pumpkins are going to be 10%, 25%, 50% um, membership or distributor, whichever one they, they got, and then taxes rebated. So if they get the ultimate system, they're gonna get a lot more back than if they got the trio, right? So it could be up to $275 if they got the ultimate and they picked the 50% pumpkin. The way that's gonna work is we're going to go by who fills out that Google Doc. As they turn in the Google Docs, the order forms, it will assign them a number on the spreadsheet. And that's the random number generator. We're gonna use the random number generator to pick five numbers. And um, that's why I'm gonna have a lot of people here to get their orders processed. So um, we're going to be done by, um, I think it starts at eight, right? It starts at eight. We'll be done with the event by 8.30. And then at 10 o'clock is when the cutoff is going to be for, um, and that gives us enough time to get all of the um, orders processed. So it's gonna be an exciting night. There's a lot of work. Um, so anybody that wants to come and help, I will open my doors and welcome you here to come and help. It's going to be a fun night, but the only way it's going to work and it's going to increase your points is if you work it. If you get excited, if you talk to your people, and if you add your people into the event, if you add two people into the event, it's not going to be very exciting for you. It's not going to be a very exciting night for you if, than the person who adds all of their prospects, all of their follow-ups, the people they've been talking to, get them in the messenger and say, girl, we got, we got us the best deals of the year. And you can get, you can get on in the event. Do you want to get in? You got to know what you want. You know, you got to know what you're going to get. This is going to be fast. And then tell them as soon as the ultimate comes up, comment sold and get your order form filled out. You could get 50% off. And don't forget, we've still got the, we've still got the, um, the ultimate giveaway. Anybody who signs up any system on a subscription, not only does your customer get in the drawing, but you get in the drawing. So this could be a, this could be awesome for you. If you have a lot of people sign up, we're signing them all up on subscriptions because that's what they agreed to, then you're gonna be in a, you're gonna be, your name's gonna be in that drawing a ton. Who could use an ultimate system for free? Hello, me. That's awesome. So we've got it. We're ready to give it away. We're ready to blow this month out. Who needs some extra points this month? Who needs some extra cash this month? Who needs that extra rank bonus this month? This could be the event to do it, but you've got to work it. You've got to, you've got to make sure that you put in the work to, so it turns out to be the event that you need it to be. Um, very fast paced. Um, I guess I covered everything. Is there is there anything that I didn't cover? I mean, it's an it's, it's an investment in your business. That's what this is. This is to generate new customers who have been on the fence who wouldn't order without a sale. You know, we've all got them. It's just something to push them over and push them into. It could be you know you're one person away from 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 being an executive. You're one distributor away. We, we heard that this, you know, over the Zing Fest. And, you know, your one person could be the person that signs up through this event. And did, did anybody, is anybody on here that signed up through um, a flash sale event? Is there anybody on here that signed up through one? Anybody that's muted? I don't know. Can I say something about the money real quick? Yes, please. Okay, 
be watching the leaders page because I'm going to post an updated list in, first thing in the morning. Um, if you don't see your name on that list and you did send me money, will you shoot me a message or comment below that? Um, I have not, I've kept it all um, where you can see it. I don't know how much you know about Venmo, but I've kept it all where I can see it and not transferred it anywhere. It's just sitting there waiting to use for the event. So um, I just want to make sure I've got a good count. I posted that first list way early this morning while I was coming from Nashville at three in the morning. So um, I know a couple of people said, well, I sent it, didn't you get it? Well, yeah, I got it after 3 a.m. Yeah, I did get it after 3 a.m. So an updated list will be posted in the morning. Thank you very much. And that is just for managers and above. If you have not reached the rank of manager yet, you get in for free. So we are we are really, really excited about this week. I, I, this is the greatest closeout team in the in the entire company, I believe it. We have we do things that other teams it just blows their mind when we do it. And I think we're about twenty five thousand away from executive. I'm not even sweating it. I know that we can do this. I know that we are going to kill it. The very first um, the very first event like this that we ever did, we signed up a hundred and one people in thirty minutes. So there is no doubt that this is the team to do it and just get excited, get your people excited. And we, we learned that too, that people want to be around something exciting. They wanna be a part of something exciting. So start posting in that page and start posting your results or start posting, you know, just firing people up. And um, does anybody have any questions about, um, about the, the event or, um, anything about about that? Ask now, or forever hold your peace. Are you guys going to are you okay. going to share the Google Doc um, in the event that day, or is that something we need to get and be sending to our people? Or I will post it in the leaders page. I'll go ahead and update it and post it in the leaders page. So if they want to fill it out beforehand, then we can go ahead and um, we can go ahead and, and have it. And if they fill out the Google Doc beforehand and we process it, then they'll be in all the drawings. I mean, this is something we are, we are using to generate excitement. We don't, I mean, we'll go ahead and sign them up. And then I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna say it's for, you know, it's tonight only, use that. Hey, hey girl, don't tell anybody, but I'm gonna extend that to you. To, I'm gonna extend that for you until tomorrow when you get paid. Don't tell anybody I'm doing that. This is yours, you're given the rebate. You can use this however you wanna use this. So you use it to your advantage. You use it to generate as many points as you can. And it works like, it works fantastic. Joy, I know you said you're trying to. That's okay, I just wanted to clarify. I know that when it was my first event, I had questions about this. So I was always confused if we sent links or not, like before I knew about these events. So I was just going to clarify that the Google Doc for the new people, like that is their, you don't send order links, that is their order form. That was always confusing. And we kept asking, like, Did you send it? So. so I'll tell you, so I will not give a rebate if somebody is not on subscription. That is, that is, I mean, I'm giving them half of my commission, they're gonna sign up on a subscription. So the Google Doc, the reason we do the Google order form is because they've got to agree to, to um, have a subscription. And that way, we, we've done it both ways, but we found that if we give them the enrollment link and put it in their hands, that we had a lot of people drop out that said that they were gonna order and get cold feet. If they do the order form, then we can put them in and they're not gonna get cold feet because it's gotta be done right then. So we, we have found it works better. We, we've done it both ways because it's much easier to send enrollment links, I promise you. So much easier to do that. But we have just found um, in our, we, we've done them since 2018. I think we've done about, um, we've done maybe two or three a year since 2018. And that is what we have found works so much better is just getting in that Google Doc and they can just fill them out and it's real easy and it's done. Anybody else got any questions? 
Okay, if you have questions, I'm gonna put the uh, rules and stuff on the leaders page before it goes into the VIP page. So, um, so you guys can read them and then you ask your questions so you can answer questions for the people that you're adding if they have any. So make a commitment how many you want signed up this, this uh, Thursday night and strive for it. You got to figure if you want to get five enrollments, then you need to add about 50 people. So, and that's 50 people that you have talked to about which system that they want. So let's go do this thing. I'm really excited. Also, Melissa, um, you did that fantastic post, like the picture. That is something that we can post on our personal pages. And I would suggest if you're wanting to, um, get people involved in this that aren't in your chats already. So you can send that in your chats, but also if you're wanting to have people who maybe just have been watching you on your Facebook page, that's an awesome thing to post because it says ask for an invitation and you need to be posting that now so that, that number one, they can plan to be part of it on Thursday, but also they can give you time to talk to them about the systems and figure out what they will need before they get thrown into that event because they need to know what they want you know, prior to going. So use that awesome image that is created. And I think it's on the leaders page already. Yeah, um, I'll, put it, I'll put it on there. And it's going on the adventure page tomorrow. So what you will comment when it goes on the adventure page, if someone is not participating, just so you know, because I, I, I think we've got some people in some teams that are not participating, it is going to the next active upline that is participating. So if, um, so that would be, those people would be tagged. So, um, so just make sure you tell your coach if you want to participate for sure. So what you will do, how you will respond to somebody who wants to be added in the adventure page, you will be tagged. Then you will go, if they are already in a chat, then I have got a script that has the, um, that has the VIP page, the link to the VIP page attached to that script. So I'll throw that in the leaders page as soon as we're done. And then, um, if they have not, if you have not started a chat, you need to start a brand new chat. Oh, I can't wait to get you in a week. You need to figure out what you need really quick because that goes fast and that's the best event of the year. You don't want to miss this. So start your chat, start your fast chat. Are you looking for weight loss? Start right at the beginning. And then when you know what they, um, what they need, then if they're ready to order right then, send them that Google Doc and let's get them let's get them ordered right then. If we get if we get orders before Thursday, we're not going to wait until Thursday to put them in. We will count them as getting everything right then, and then again, you'll be responsible for the rebate. So if you want to go ahead and sign them up before Thursday, just make sure they fill out that Google Doc and put. Um, for the credit card information, put already ordered. They can write it in. So does that make sense to everybody? Is anybody confused on that? Okay. Um, anything else? Did I miss? Did I miss or not explain good? Rhonda, did I miss anything? So just to clarify, you're saying if we're sending that information out and they want to sign up we go ahead and send them a link like normal, um, but they have to commit to the subscription and then send them the Google doc and they can just put already paid or already ordered. Yeah. Um, but they have to be on subscription. They have to be on subscription or if you're worried that, th that your verbiage is not good enough to get them on subscription, just have them fill out the Google doc and, and we'll put it in for them. Okay, that sounds good can do that for sure. Or, or you can also, you can take their information or talk to them on the phone even and get them signed up that way where you can process it That's and it. you can put the subscription in too. So if you don't know how to do that, talk to your coach. Just make sure that, um, just make sure that they know that you're doing it. Don't do anything that they don't know and explain it to them, you know? Right. Okay. Anybody else? Am I good? Okay. 
Well, I am very, very excited about this week, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see you guys. And I know Bria's driving all the way from Nashville to be a part of it, and I'm really excited about that. Um, and I know Corinne's going to be here because she lives right next door. So that's going to be exciting. Um, she someone's, does, someone's asking in the chat, Melissa, if they want to participate, what time would they need to be at your house? Um, oh, I didn't see. Gosh, there's a bunch of chat things. Chat things. Okay. Um, just probably, oh, you can come whenever. You, I'll be home all day. So um, if it starts at eight, I would say probably seven. We'll get everything set up. Seven. Melissa, yes. Your time on the flower is eight thirty. Is it eight thirty? Okay, then good. Then eight thirty. Then be here seven thirty an hour beforehand. Sorry, I couldn't remember what I put. I knew it was earlier than nine. We usually do it at nine, but I couldn't remember what I put. So, so we'll do eight thirty. It'd be nine. So we'll have to we'll have to bust it to get them all in by ten. But I think we can do it. So, yes, okay. Uh, any, any other questions, Kim, on the chat? Martine's coming, Luann's coming. Okay. I'll be there. Yay, and Ron is coming. Kendra's, Kendra's coming. Kendra's coming, Bria's coming. Yes. This is gonna be so much fun. Y'all have so much fun, I'm so jealous. I, I can't yeah. drive, so. I know, I know, we understand completely. Kim had surgery this week. And oh, come on, rent a scooter. <laughs> I'm joking because that was the worst mistake of my life. We'll talk about it later. Right. Yeah, I've already almost had one scooter accident, so. No accidents, no accidents. All right. I'm going to go ahead and declare Ephesians 3.20 over this team and over Thursday night. God is going to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can think or ask. Because we honor him, his blessings are going to chase us down and overtake us. We are in the right place at the right time. And I declare a boldness to rise up in us. God is going to open up supernatural doors. People are going to seek us out and we are going to rise in the ranks because we give him the honor and the glory for it all. Love you guys. <laughs>